I'm Dan Hedges with Engineering.com. We're here at the USA Science and Engineering Festival with our guest, Bill Nye, the science guy. Greetings, greetings. Good, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. I, if it's in the morning, you'll have to use your imagination. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Bill, you are the executive director of the Planetary Society. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your role there and what, what well, you got? Well, I'm the CEO. I'm the, you know, I sign checks. So this is a nonprofit that I've been a member of since it was started by my old professor Carl Sagan and a couple other guys from Jet Propulsion Lab. And uh, we promote space exploration. We do, we like to say we do three things. We educate, we have an educational effort, we are doing deals, and then we have, uh, uh, we create, we make little spacecraft, try to put microphones on Mars and stuff. And these things are paid for by our 35 or 1,000 plus members around the world who just think it's cool. And then the other big thing we get involved in is political advocacy, we advocate. So uh, there's a real concern right now that the budget for planetary exploration at NASA is being cut. And there's a lot of people, very influential people, trying to get NASA's budget raised, but nevertheless the planetary line item is still below what they requested, what was figured out by these scientists in this mythic thing called the Decadal Survey. And so uh, if you lose, if we lose the ability to land on other worlds, which sounds like science fiction, but it kind of is real, okay? These are the only people on Earth who can navigate a spacecraft so it lands on Mars. Very non-trivial if I may use the uh, expression from mathematics. There's the trivial solution where everything's zero. No, this is non-trivial. Uh, uh, if we lose that ability, those people will go work in other disciplines. I don't know, they'll make video games. Not that I don't love video games, but it, will, it won't sustain, you know. Yeah. So we're very hopeful that we can get that budget restored. Okay. Right, they, you, you don't want your, your people who can land on another planet to be working uh, 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 on video, Street. well, on uh, Wall, well, in, not uh, that we don't love Wall Street. Do. Moderation. You just want to be able to land on other worlds for the betterment of all humankind. Two questions that trouble us all. Mm -hmm. Where did we all come from? Where did we all come from? Now, there are certain people that claim to have answers, but so far they're kind of unsatisfactory to me. And then the other thing is, are we alone? Are we the only living things in the universe? That seems incredible when you consider the universe's vastness. But you want to know, you want to find out if there's somebody else out there that could send you a signal and all such stuff like that. All right, um, so uh, we had a, a, an announcement recently and I was hoping you could comment on, uh, on Planetary Resources Incorporated. Oh, that's cool, that's, a, that's cool, that's a fine idea. Sooner or later, humankind is gonna to have to be able to influence or change the trajectory of asteroids. It may be that the reason we haven't received a signal from another world is because they didn't pass the asteroid test, no. right? Okay. I mean, it's science fiction in, in a way, uh, but it's, it is not beyond... Asteroids beyond are it. scientific fact. Yeah, asteroids are the real deal. Took out the ancient dinosaurs. The Earth gets hit with uh, I guess it's 100,000 tons of dust a day, 100,000 tons of asteroidal material a day. So if we were to get one of these, there are about, uh, my recollection is 10,000 sort of uh, career-ending asteroids <laughs> in Earth's orbit. And just at the space, there's so much space in space that you seldom get hit with one. But there is Apophis, named for the Greek god of anxiety, coming around in 2029 and then coming back around in 2036. If it were to be, its trajectory to be slightly different than we believe it is right now, you know, it's control, alt, delete for civilization. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so what you want to do is have the ability to slow it down or speed it up just enough so it misses the Earth. And so that same technology, that same way of thinking, the same uh, assay, like in other words, you'd build some satellites or constellation of satellites that could look at the asteroids in Earth's orbit, and maybe some of them are worth mining. You know, there's evidence that a few of them are sort of pure platinum. Mm -hmm. Like, um, 
If you go to a museum and you, if you see an asteroid that's been recovered and on display, they're like, they're made of stainless steel, you know, natural stainless steel. They could be quite valuable. So it's not a crazy idea, but it's not going to be cheap either. Right. It's we're definitely, it's exciting. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Let's go mine some asteroids. How hard could it be? <laughs> Bill Nye, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Dan. It was thank great. Thank you. You can catch more videos with Bill Nye and also other engineering celebrities here on engineering.com.